Welcome to the Motor City. This is Comerica Park Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Detroit Tigers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, just about set to go. And towing to slap, Jack Flaherty. And Singy, that may be his name, but the strikeout is his game. Well, Brooke, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy's strikeout per nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, it's going to be a fun one to watch today. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. The pitch. Just oh, off the out. outside edge, and we're underway in Detroit. And a good eye there. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Ball Misses three. with the 2 0, and he's fired straight three up. straight outside the strike zone. And he walked him on nope. four pitches. Oh, His ability to draw walks has been something. That's been part of his career since day one. Ryan Reynolds here. Now he breaks as bad as it's put in play. Makes the catch one down. Here's a Pirates lineup now. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Now a chance for Connor Joe. Hey. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. Kicks and deals. Ball. And ball one. I got one ball, one strike. Right through there for a strike. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here's O'Neill Cruz. That oh, one inside. One and oh. Fouled off to the right. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Throw. Save. That's a stolen base. I think that still kind of sets the tone, not just for this game, but for the entire series. First inning, game one. So that kind of tells me they're going to be aggressive on offense and try to force the issue whenever they can. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And that one missing low. That's a really good take. Nick Gonzalez waits on deck for Pittsburgh. Man on second, two down. Swing and a pop up. Urshela under it. And that's the third out. Pirates leave one. The Tigers coming up. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
back here in Detroit. Today's starting pitcher, Paul Skeens. Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Riley Green stands in now, looks at that one inside. to the right steps on first for the out and now the Tigers line up for manager AJ Hinch and the key to victory for them here get their starter some run support early Boog, if they can get him that run support early it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in so put pressure on that other team right away jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Matt Veerling batting with one down takes a strike. One out base is empty. On the ground a third and that chance handled. Fires across the diamond two up two down. Hey man four pitches two outs that is an excellent base. And next to hit for Detroit, Wenzel Perez. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball one. In the air, left side. Reynolds trying to get there. He's got it. And that is out number three. Scoreless after one. set for the start of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Gonzalez. Flaherty back to work. Flaherty, 28 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. That's off the mark. And now it's even one and one. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? Hey. Went too far that time. It's one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Hanks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now the third baseman. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. And he held back, according to Larry Bullard. Just missed. That one misses. Three balls, no strikes. All tied up here at the top of the second. That's in there. And now three and one. One fouled off. Bounced up the middle. Throw on to oh. Torkelson. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Here's Rowdy to Les. That's inside, and it's one to know. Oh. 
two down nobody on foul back our way and that's out of play he's a little out front but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off two outs Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Fights that one away, still one and two. And that's in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Gets a piece. And stays alive. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making him work out there. And another ball. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Left hand batter waits. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And the pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a payoff pitch. And that's ball four. That's a great at-bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. When you go that deep into an at-bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. This is Joey Bart. Joey and a foul ball. Righty delivers. Pitch misses, and the count is one and two. It's a good take. Got him looking, and that is that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on. Now to the bottom of the second. No score. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. His home and away splits there. And a pitch. And a strike right through there. That one, a triple digits. 0-2 now as he swings through it. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Next offering is down low. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Got him swinging. Well, oh, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Gior Shella to the plate. In the air, right field. Joe on his horse. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Two away. The first baseman. And next up for the Tigers, Spencer Torkelson. Right through there for a strike. 0-1.
Next no pitch is down. downstairs. Right hander kicks deals. That one lifted to left, sizing this one up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. And now the center fielder, G1 Bay. Clarity back to work. That's outside. Ball one. Just missed. Righty to the plate. Hard hit left side. Slings to first and one away in the top of the third. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. This splits between April and May there. Line drive, base hit. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. The left fielder, number 10. So digging in, Brian Reynolds. 0 for 1 with a fly out. That's a little bit low. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Swing and a ball popped up. Drops into the glove. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Connor Joe. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. With the go-ahead run at first, we're here in the top half of inning number three. And another ball. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Next offering in there for a strike. And now two and two. And he deals. The other way. Keith. Over to first. And that is the inning. So one left for Pittsburgh. Still no score. Colt Keith up now for the Tigers. Keith swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home. The right-hander back to work. That clips the zone, and that's strike one. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. That one in triple digits. The line of the pitch.
And a pop up on the left side of the infield. Settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. The batter now, Javier Baez. Right through there for a strike. And a ground ball to first. Baez gone on the play. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. That's off the mark, and that is ball one. And there's a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of the third. That smash towards center. And that's a base hit. He was all over that one. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Here's Riley Green. Grounded out his first time. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and 102 on the radar gun. And another ball. This one chopped to first, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. pitch misses and that's ball three Matt Veerling waits on deck Kelly off of first with two away that's a laser base hit and that moves the go-ahead run to scoring position with two gone. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. So up next, Matt Veerling. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a miss. That one at 101. Two on, two outs. Good eye in that spot. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count, one and two. Kicks and fires. Ball two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Up the middle, and that one handled. Safe! He beats it! Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and... Now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Wenzel Perez up now for the Tigers. Fly to left his first time. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game.
Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Still tied at zero, last of the third. And one now ball. one and two. two. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. So the Tigers leave them loaded. And we are still scoreless. Back at Comerica Park. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, O'Neill Cruz. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 1. Oh, yeah. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind to kick the pitch. The shortstop oh, takes a ball. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Got him swinging. One gone here. Now there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more That's relaxed that he didn't reach base. Gonzalez up to bat next, lays off for a ball. That one's in there, and the count one and one. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And another ball. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. That one clips the outside corner. It's two and two. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. Here's the third baseman. Grounded out his first time up. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. Fourth inning underway, no score. Now one, one and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two fans. pitch that one out to right sizes this one up and makes the play and that's out number three onto the bottom of the fourth now still with no score Fielder, Kerry Carpenter. The pitch. That one well upstairs. And that's ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. You get to this part of the order, 
Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. A dive, he's got it. And very nicely done for the out. What an acrobatic play right there. Knocks it down, throws from the seat of his pants, and just looks like he's playing in the backyard. He makes it look really easy. Here's Gio Urshela. Fly to right his first time. Ball oh, wanted to pitch inside. And the righty deals. That's ball two. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And a foul ball. Makes the count 2-1. and one. All tied up. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And another ball. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Substitution now at first base. And coming in is the Tigers pinch runner, Zach McKinstry. One down, runner at first. Now here is Spencer Torkelson. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And the first pitch misses for ball one. McKinstry over at first with one away. That one missed. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. That one misses. And that's ball three. Colt Keith waiting to hit for Detroit. See if he gives him anything to hit here. Too low, ball four, and he's walked another. Well, this came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. Colt Keith up now for the Tigers. 0 for 1 so far. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Right through there for a strike. One out. Runners at first and second. On the ground. Could be two. Off balance feed. There's one. On to Telez. And the double play ends the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this jam. Now into the ball game on defense, Zach McKinstry. He's the new third baseman. And now it's Rowdy Telez. He reached out a walk his first time. The first baseman, number 44, Rowdy Telez. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Fouled off. He was late. Left hand hitter waits. Short hop liner handled it short. The throw and the leadoff oh. hitter retired in the fifth. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Here's Joey Bart now. Struck out looking his first time. That one not close. Ball one. Just missed. Here comes a pinch. And that's off the inside edge. 
three and zero. Oh. G1 Bay up next. And he takes one right on the black. Three and one. This to center field. He's under it. Puts it away for the out. At the plate for Pittsburgh, G1 Bay. First time up, he grounded to third. Pitch misses outside, and it's 1 0. This one in the air. Tokelson settles underneath it, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Bucks go down quietly, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here in Detroit, now it's Javier Baez. Not shortstop. Javier Baez. The wind of the pitch. And a pop up right side, foul territory. He's got it, and there's one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every battle. And up next for Detroit, Carson Kelly. And he's already singled in this game. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. Strike two. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. Three. Got him. Two away. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. So the batting order turns over. Next is the Tigers' DH, Riley Green. Just missed. And another ball. Two out spaces empty. Next offering upstairs. Matt Veerling. Up next for the Tigers. And a pitch. And a four pitch walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. In the box, lays off for ball one. With the winning run on at first. Last half of inning number five. And fouled off. That one inside. Now two balls and a strike. Fall off foul. Two outs. Struck him out looking. That's the third out, and we'll play extra innings in this one. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam.
And we're back. All set for the top of the six. And now the Pirates lead off man. Andrew McCutcheon. The pitch. And that one is in the dirt. And that's ball one. Bounced up the middle. Keith. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. Reynolds in the box now. Take strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And he'll two. Got him! And two away now. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Joe in the box now. Takes strike one. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. And we still have no score. at Comerica Park. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Wenzel Perez. Skeens back to work. That one ripped. And that's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. In comes the winning run. And the Tigers walk it off for the win. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. This team is celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. The final one to nothing for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.